jackfruit farming, daunting to some yet a gold mine to others. For Okotha Stephen, his drive to engage in jackfruit farming was after a brief training with Poesa. It was from this training session that a facilitator mentioned a scenario involving two people, both given money. One of these individuals decides to invest the money they received, whereas the other individual spends it. It was this particular scenario that initiated a turning point for Okotha Stephen. He explains how it all started. Again, in Poesa, in 2016, in Poesa, I attended the training. In the training, they gave us a scenario where some two people were given money. One was given 10 million, another one was 10 million. The other one person went to Dubai to do shopping. Another one decided to buy land and planted fene. Said in five years' time, this one who is planting fene is making a lot of money. The other one maybe has collapsed because of air ticket, accommodation, the money you spend to purchase goods from Dubai. So from there I picked on that yes, it is worth a while to grow fene. According to Mr. Okotha, jackrat farming is an easy activity. And what is mainly required is a focused mind to know how to plant and what is required in planting. Yeah, basically how to plant the fene. You just get the seedlings, which you can purchase some of, uh, we have also the seedlings, but you can also get them from uh, even narrow. And you, you, you dig two feet by two feet, and two feet down, put some manure, and plant your fene. Mm. And it grows. Now when it has reached uh, about the, Two meters up, you cut the, the top. This one I've cut the top twice, so that it does not go very far. Because if it goes very far, harvesting it will be a bit of a problem. For one to have quick harvests, the seeds have to be considered, as sometimes young seedlings take long, which may delay the harvests. Uh, the seedlings, you should buy mature seedlings. If you buy uh, young seedlings, you are likely to take about four, four or five years. This one I started harvesting last year, and it was just three years old. Mm. That is all. Okay. Yes. And the spacing, about 25, 25 feet to allow for expansion. That allows you then to put in other things, like here we're putting gonja and beans and maize. You can put in other things. Mm. Yeah. Okotha understands his trade and calculates his earnings per fruit in a season, bearing in mind the fact that there are two seasons in a year to earn him a happy life. In a year, fene is harvested twice. So if in each term you have about 50 fene, multiply by 2,000, that is 100,000 per season. And there are two seasons, that is 200,000 per three per year. To Okotha, the struggle is still long, as others are counting their investment in terms of processing for export. His takeoff point is with hope and zeal. He is determined to get to the heights. Of course, some people are drying it. You can solar dry it and pack it. And then others are uh, <coughs> grinding the seeds. But me, I have not yet reached that level. And I think what I'll do, I'll just sell the, 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 the fene for as it is, because as you see it is very marketable, the demand is very high. He takes a moment of time to encourage others to get on board. I would encourage people to plant this thing. And you plant once, fene lasts for about 80 years. You plant once, I don't even spray it, you just harvest. 